Welcome back to the channel today. We are in the Polestar 2 and we're going coast to coast from Balmullet in County Mayo up to Dundee in County Dublin, 318 odd kilometres. And we have a nearly full battery, 98%. We're just here charging. You can see we're at 98% and the range on my drive in the last two weeks has been saying it's going to give me 450 kilometres. And with that Google built in, you're going to be able to pump in your address and then it'll tell you in Dunleary it's going to take me over four hours to get there, 318 kilometres, and I'll have 17% battery left. I also need to add uh, a, another stop in Mullingar to pick up Darwin. So let me two seconds type in that. Um, as well as that uh, we are on the Pulsar 2 with the plus pack. I'll put the battery size in underneath. Um, let me put you on the back, so at least you're looking at something. Um, there we go. And so with this at stop, I can then confirm, and it's going to tell me that when I get to Mullingar, I'm going to have 44% battery left. And when I get up to Dunleary, it's going to be at 17%. So it's great to have that. It's telling you what percentage battery you're going to have left built into the actual sat nav. It'll be interesting to see if it is 42%, sorry, 44% it's saying now, because I'm still plugged in and charging. Um, we're on the 20 inch wheels. As I said, we've got the plus back, which has the panel roof, which you can see over my head and the Harman Kardon sound system. And the, it's a bit heavier of a car because it's got um, power tail lift, etc., etc. But otherwise, yeah, it's, I've had this on the channel before. I've had the regular Polestar 2 review and then I've also had the BST. Uh, we've got Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 now on the, on the channel. So there's a good playlist there for Polestar. But a lot of people really like the look of the Polestar 2, the design, the styling. Um, it's a good, decent range as well. There's a lot of things to like about it with Google built in. Um, it's a firm ride for sure, but um, the only... I like it. I do like it. Yeah. Uh, it is that firmer ride is probably the only thing. And on certain roads here in the west of Ireland, the Balakoric to Castlebar Road is not a very good road. Um, and yeah, you definitely could feel the undulations on it. But on the other primary roads, no problem. It's a lovely, smooth car. Um, this one has the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, etc. as well. So what I'll do is I'll give an update when I get to Mullingar and see how we're getting on there. We're at 98%, but it's another 20 minutes until I get to 100%. So I'll, I'll leave as is. We should have plenty to get us back to Dublin. So it's great that you can go coast to coast in Ireland. If you're interested in taking a Polestar 2 yourself for a test drive, you can head over to nevo.ie, Ireland's only dedicated electric vehicle platform. And you can see the full Polestar range there and you can book your test drive for the two and also make inquiries for the three and the four, which are going to be arriving here in Ireland uh, in the summer towards autumn for summer we're going to be getting the Polestar 3 I think it's June deliveries and then October sorry August September for Polestar 4 uh, beautiful car top of my list if I was to buy something myself at the moment uh, I really like the shape style and design so you can head over to nevo.e to see that but otherwise it's six degrees outside it's not very nice uh, there's a bit of rain with snow yesterday, so it's a bit definitely in the cooler. With the plus pack, you get the heat pump on the Polestar 2 as well. So we're going to head on in a couple of minutes. Um, I have to go back and pick herself up and then head off to Mullingar. Thanks. Here in Mullingar, picking up Darwin the Beagle, who has been in some previous videos. If you've watched the channel, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And we've a bit of a variation in what the range is versus what it was. So we started off at 450 kilometers and it's about a 200 kilometer drive to Mullingar and we are down to a 150 kilometer range. So we've lost about 100 kilometers on between bad day, cold weather, driving style. Uh, and you can see here then we've got a 113, sorry, one hour, 13 minute drive, one hour and 13 minutes of a drive left, 100 kilometer range. And it's saying if we land home at three o'clock, we'll have 3% battery left. Um, we are at 32%, whereas we should have been at 44% going on what Google Maps originally said. Was. Now, that is unfortunately because of the temperature outside. That is because of my driving style. This is the reality of it. But at least I'm getting a real time, and it has, in fairness to it, has been asking me to plug into a charger. Uh, I don't think we'll need it with 3% left. Patricia isn't happy that I'm going to chance it. But... Um, 
if we started with 100% instead of 98%, we'd have a couple of more kilometers worth of range, but I think we can do it. Um, we will be doing it, I'm not stopping. And so I will give you an update once I pull into Dunleary. So yeah, real world range in a day like today of 320 odd kilometers. Um, actually I can show you the trip computer. Uh, you can see we've done 234 kilometers. Um, I'll zoom in on that there. That's better. Um, so we've done 234 kilometers and the kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers is 21.6. So not great. It isn't a ground up EV. It isn't a, so it has that. It's a heavy EV as well. We've driven for three and a half hours and the average speed has been uh, 20, sorry, 70 kilometers an hour. Um, let me turn that around. So yeah, uh, it can do coast to coast. It's going to be very tight. It is the winter time, so definitely in the summertime you'll be able to do it. But real world around about that, it's going to be around 325, 330 kilometers worth of range uh, coast to coast in the Polestar 2. Um, just getting the spec, I don't know exactly if it is the, the long range or the standard range single motor that we have. I'm just waiting for them to come back to me on it uh, and I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But otherwise, Tune in for the update at the end. Hopefully we'll make it. And we will make it. Thanks. Back in Dunleary and we are 7% battery left. Uh, let me turn this around so you can see. So we're 7% battery left. Let me zoom in. And 33 kilometers of range left. And if we look at our trip information on the right hand side, we did 342 kilometers between Going into Mullingar and coming out of Mullingar and all the rest of it. 20.9 uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers, five hours in total of a journey, and 71, point, 71 kilometers per hour. Uh, and the Odo on this is just over 3,000 kilometers. Overall tri trip information is 22.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So um, 334, and then range of 33 left. So 380. Is the real world on it? Oh, that's very close. Um, hold on, we'll figure out this camera. Zoom out and then click back in again. Um, that fixture up. Uh, 370, five degrees temperature. It's eight degrees here in Dublin, but five degrees or six degrees kind of all the way up. Not great weather, wind and rain and all the rest of it. So I'm happy with that efficiency and the mileage. Yeah, in around that 400 in this colder weather, um, wasn't going super fast, had all the air conditioner on, had two people in the car um, and the dog towards the latter end, a fairly well loaded car as well with luggage, etc. But in a real world around that 400 kilometer range, so no problem doing that coast to coast. A lot of people wouldn't let it down to 7%. A lot of people would be freaking out, but well able for it. And as long as you know what you're going to be plugging in charging when you get to this end, fine. And there's a bit of a buffer now, it, because with the Google built in, it always it was asking me from Mullingar, do I want to find a charger? Do you want to know where the nearest charger is? So it was good in that sense. But real world range at this time of year on a single motor long range um, Polestar 2 with the 20 inch wheels with this wasn't too windy around that six to eight degrees is around that uh, 370, 380. Um, 33 plus 334, 370. Um, you probably could eat 400 out of it. Hopefully you've enjoyed that coast to coast and a bit more range test. Uh, EB database said that the real world on this is about 420. So slightly underneath that as well. I think the temperature is really hurting it uh, and, the, and the windy rainy day. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Jump into the comments and let me know what you're getting on your Polestar 2. Obviously, a lot of them are sold globally. It'd be great to see. Uh, and remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're interested in this video, you might be interested in that video there too.